following video contains pictures of scantily clad women, which may be offensive to those of a woke nature. For example, dampied, simpering, nummies boys, and shaven-headed female golems. This is of course a warning, and not at all a feeble attempt to get people watching this video, as that pathetic little wretch moans on 19 to the dozen. You have been warned. We're going straight to hell, straight to hell tonight. Wild thing. A British explorer stumbles over a lost civilization made up entirely of women, where the blondes have been enslaved by the brunettes. The brunette leader is first encountered standing naked behind vegetation. Perhaps they're making one of those calendars. Had no loving since January, April, June or July. The women worship the great white rhino, revered for its enormous horn. Uh, yeah, I think that's what's known as a single entendre. This sounds like it should have been a spoof, but incredibly it's played serious. This film exists because after one million years BC, Hammer realised that women in furry bikinis drew in audiences, put bums on seats. Although where exactly they put right hands is perhaps something that's best left to the imagination. Also, the sets from one million years BC can be cheaply reused. Perhaps certain gentlemen of distinction might enjoy this movie. Personally, I was wishing a stop-motion dinosaur would appear and enliven this. Of course, the British stiff upper lipid chap, and possibly stiff other things as well, helps the slaves overthrow their masters just before the real Papa Mache Rhino of Doom appears. The matriarchal society, in which the women very conveniently wear very little, might have been bold and daring for about five minutes at some point long ago, but it's now just a subject of ridicule. It was lampooned in movies like Amazon Women on the Moon, and even as far back as the 60s in Carry On Up the Jungle. Both these movies have the sense not to take themselves seriously, and are far more enjoyable than this. Deeper in the darkness you were. 